Hi guys, welcome back to the next video. Today is a special video. It's a kind of video that I haven't done before, but I think we could start incorporating this once every now and then, and I think they're going to be really, really cool. And this one I'm calling How to Solve a Bad Topology. And um, in this one in particular, I was going through the comments in Facebook uh, from our, or from our old videos, and there was one from a good friend called uh, David Weaver. Well, not direct friend, I don't know David, uh, but I imagine he likes our content, uh, hopefully. <laughs> and he mentioned that I made a very big mistake on the, on the helmet video when we were doing the extrusion and that he thought it was a very bad part. His phrasing was not so friendly, but that's fine. Some, but sometimes people are having a bad day here in the internet and they write things that can be a, a little bit mean. So he mentioned, and he's totally right, that the pinching him is horrible. It looks very, very bad. I personally personally don't think it's that bad, um, mainly because what we're, done, what we're gonna do is sculpting and texturing and all that kind of stuff. And as a sort of like design choice, it might actually like work in some cases. But I wanna show you how to actually fix this sort of stuff. So I went back to the original file and I extracted, as you can see here, the original mask. This is the original base mesh that I did for that uh, particular mask back in the day. And uh, we're gonna be using this one to, to create the, um, the proper thickness. And then I'm gonna show you a nice little trick to, to have very sharp corners that do not contaminate the rest of the, of the mask, okay? So the first thing I'm noticing is that topology-wise, this area right here is gonna be complicated. Why? Because if I were to extrude this thing and push it forward, we're gonna get this sort of like very, very weird uh, effect. Do we have a, let me just say, uh, mesh tools, uh, or sorry, edit mesh, I'm just gonna uh, merge. I wanna make sure that there's no like uh, double vertex and stuff, there we go. So if I were to grab this object, let's delete history and extrude this and extrude it out, whoa. What's happening here? Mm. <laughs> okay, no worries. Let me let me show you here. I'm gonna reopen the file. So there we go. And first, the first thing we need to do is we need to to go back to that original like shape, right? Like how do we go back to the to the original like cross shape? So I'm just gonna assign the Lambert. There we go. And uh, it's very easy. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete half of it. I don't I don't need half of the mask. I just need uh, one of the of the halves. So let's delete half of it. And I'm gonna use my edge tool uh, selection to delete all of the support edges. So that's a support edge. That's a support edge. That's a support edge. That's a support edge. That one's a support edge. The, uh, this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one, this one, whenever you delete an edge, make sure to press control delete to delete it. And there we go. And uh, here we only have this inner one. And this is the complex shape right here. This is the, the part that makes it really difficult. When you have two edges that are really close and then very big shapes in other places and you extrude an object, what's gonna happen is, yes, the object is gonna get extruded, but as you can see here, we're also gonna get a very weird effect. Now it seems like I forgot to delete these edges or this vertex. Anyway, let's go back. Uh, let me delete those edges or those vertices. I'm not sure why they're still there. Probably a bug or something. Just make sure that there's no, like, there we go. A row of vertices going over there. Clean, clean, clean. There's a couple of them right here. There we go. So, yeah, since we have this area right here, the shapes are going to, like, become a little bit wonky. So there's uh, one way in which I like to do this sort of thing. I am going to... Uh, delete the thickness of the object like this and then I'm gonna delete the inner part or sorry the outer part rather and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of the faces of the object and I'm gonna say mesh sorry edit mesh and duplicate and what this will do is it will duplicate the copy of the faces and we can move this out like this without losing as much volume when we do the extrusion things get like inflated quite a bit <coughs> Oh my god, sorry. Uh, things get inflated quite a bit and you lose a little bit of volume. Here, we definitely need to, this one needs to be reversed. So mesh display, reverse, so that um, this is facing us. Mm. Mm, that's weird. Why is it not reversing? Let me just delete history on both of them, freeze transformation, all that stuff. Another thing I can do, I'm just going to do a quick extrusion here, get it in, and then delete that extrusion, and 
delete this border that we just created. There we go. So on this second one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the vertex just a little bit here so that we get back our original like uh, little loop in there. See how they're kind of like overlapping a little bit. So quick, quick fix here like this. And now it's super simple to just grab one of or both objects, combine them, grab all of the outer edges and bridge. And there we go. We have a cleaner, like a low poly mesh, I would say, uh, ready to do the, the supports. Now I'm going to mirror this thing to the other side, of course. So this is going to be X negative 0 0.001. Uh, okay, yeah, it seems like we have this. That's totally fine. Easy way, easiest way to fix this. Just delete these uh, faces. Actually, nah, let's, let me go back. It's easier. It's easier to just go to the front view. Grab faces, grab all of those inner faces, delete them, and then grab vertex, snap them, and snap them to the X. And now we're just going to go back here and a mirror. On X uh, negative, sorry, point zero zero one to make sure that only vertices that are on top of each other uh, get combined. And there we go. So now, again, if we press number three, we're going to get this very soft edge uh, thing. And that's not what we want. So I'm going to use my cut tool. I'm going to turn on symmetry world X so that if I add something on one side, like on this little leg right here, it's going to be on the other one as well. That saves me from doing the uh, what's the word? The the mirror later on. So something like that, like that. And here's where things are going to get uh, interesting. So I'm going to have one here and one here. That's going to give me like the very sharp, nice look here on the on the outside. We definitely want uh, oh, one here. That's going to give me an even sharper look right there. And we're going to want one there, which is going to hold the edge there very, very nicely. So we have this very sharp edge. It's going to give us like this sort of like roundish effect and then like a hard surface there. Now for this one, here's where it gets tricky, right? Like we want to add one line here to create a very nice sharp line on this little corner, but we don't want this line to go into the into the like smooth areas of the of the visor, or at least that that's not the intention in in this case. So I'm gonna go here and here, and uh, in order to fix this right here, let me let me just delete that edge. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of a topology trick. So I am going to add one support edge here, okay, like on the upper side, which is something that we normally do to hold this like upper edge, right, like here and here. Same for this one, like right about there. Now, that, that's, that shouldn't affect the, the roundness that we already have, like this roundness. That's the roundness that I want to keep, but I want to keep the little uh, like uh, corner here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from this uh, vertex that we just created, from this little line right here, and I'm going to create a little support edge that's going to hug the upper surface just here, like this. OK, now here we definitely need to, well, before I do that, I need to have another actual back here, because that's where it's going to finish. So from here, and as you can see, we go really, really close to the corner that we want to keep, which is that light, nice little sharp line. And yes, we are going to have a triangle. Yes, the topology won't flow in the exact same way. But that's one of the ways in which we can solve that issue right there. So we have a very sharp corner. See that? Very nice. And we're not making this line uh, even like stronger. Another tool that you can use to, to fix this, if you, if you want to keep this even uh, softer, is we can select like all of these edges right here, which are making this thing like very, um, um, very tight. And I'm going to go to Mesh Tools, and there's this called Slide Edge Tool that will allow me with a middle mouse uh, button to drag the edge, and that will relax. It will relax the tension that those points are combining over there. I'm trying to grab that one. It's fine. I'm just going to push this guy up. Let's grab this. I'm just going to move it up in this case. I like this vertex, let's move it down. Let's keep it close to the, to the tool. And there we go. So that way, since two edges are no longer really close to each other, we're going to have a softer effect right there. 
So it will all depend, of course, on the client, on the project, on what they want and how they want it to be done. Uh, the one that I showed you in the last video, in the Seabrush in the video, that was a personal creation of mine. So that's why I was uh, okay with having that sort of pinches. But yeah, it's very important that you guys understand how to, uh, how to fix this sort of thing. And uh, we can do the exact same thing over here. So for this like edge right here, if we want to hold that edge a little bit nicer, I'm just going to go from this triangle, create a little edge loop that holds the triangle closer. And there we go. And uh, I know that this technique works because I've been working uh, in the last couple of months with a very prominent client, a triple A uh, game studio. A lot of you guys know it. I can't say the name, of course, NDAs. Uh, and they have a lot of assets that use this sort of trick, a lot of high quality assets that are using this sort of tricks. So I'm going to do the same trick here, for instance, I'm going to add one line here to, to keep this line a little bit sharper. And uh, if I want to minimize how much pinch there is like here, I need to slide this guys to the side. So for instance, I'm going to grab uh, this, that one, that one, and I'm going to go mesh tools and slide edge like this and that way the pinch is not going to be as a prominent and we can have a thick surface with very nice topology so this is one of the ways to do it guys and i want to i'm going to use this time just to uh, let you know i'm not taking the comment in a bad way don't worry about that it's not that it affects me or anything i i'm really happy with we're with uh, with what with how we're doing with the channel i know a lot of you guys love the content and uh, it, it, it doesn't get to me i know how uh, the internet works but i do want to make sure that you guys are um all feel the um, are, are, are comfortable telling me if i make something uh, wrong or if i make a mistake if i make a mistake or if i'm using using a tool wrong or if you want me to go over something that was not uh, super clear in one of the videos, just write the comments, let me know, and I'll make sure to get back to you. Okay, guys? So this is it for this one. I'm out of time right now. So uh, the video for tomorrow is going to be part of the Obelisk. It's uh, pre-recorded. And um, I'll, I'll be back next week so that we can continue working on more stuff. We're going to go into like shorter videos, kind of like tip, uh, tips and tricks videos for the next couple of weeks. Uh, while we plan out what we will do next for our, our next uh, project. But uh, yeah, just uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Is this useful for you? Uh, leave a like, um, share, subscribe, and I'll be back on the next one. Bye-bye.